Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to export transparent backgrounds in Final Cut. So this could be with videos or with photos. I want to go over how to export a photo or a video with a transparent background, which is a really um, neat and really cool um, trick, especially if you like your cutting stuff out in Final Cut. You actually can actually um, export images with a transparent background. That was a great feature that um, I honestly didn't know Final Cut. Um, had so the first thing you want to do is you basically want to know you want to just disable the background layers so for example I have nothing underneath this um, photo but let's say I had you know three photos and I wanted to just use like the middle one or the top one or the bottom one you want to disable all the layers or the background layers or all the layers that you don't want to export and you just want to export that single image it, if a final cut can't like you know like basically read your mind you know, on, on which um, image you want to use so you just you have to do you have to disable all the background layers. So for example, I have nothing um, underneath. I just have this one um, single layer right here. Now if you want to cut out, you know, uh, like images or like that, you can actually go over here to a draw mask right here. So let's say, you know, you're doing like a profile picture or something and you want to just for, uh, cut it out in Final Cut and let's say, well, I, you might want to use that um, profile picture um, later on. We well, can actually do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just go over here. I want to do a very, very, um, rough mask right here so this is a uh, basically uh, this is just a draw mask so if you don't know what this tool does right here all this is as you can see right here is it just cuts out the subject which is again it's a uh, great tool to use if you want you know create cutouts but let's say for example i want to use this cutout later i want to use this cutout later of antonio brown well instead of spending like you know 20 30 minutes cutting him out again i can i can actually just save this image with a transparent background and then i can use um this cutout uh, later on so basically what you do is you want to make sure you're project is using Apple ProRes 444. So if I go over here, so basically what you want to do is you want to create a project right here. So command and and create a project. You want to name, name this example right here. And you want to render in codec and then you want to use Apple ProRes 444. You want to use this codec right here. So click on this codec right here and there you go. Create a project. If we understood this last four is the alpha channel. So it allows you to create a transparent um, background. Now you may be panicking saying, wait a minute, but I, didn't, I didn't originally create my project, but I, I didn't my original project isn't in Apple Pro 444 do I have to create a new project not necessarily if I click on this project right here so click on the project right here go over here to modify right here and if you go over here to rendering Apple Pro 422 then go to Apple Pro 444 so if it were here Apple Pro 444 and as you can see um, there we go right here so let's click OK and of course you know if it doesn't work you you can go ahead and go back to it and make sure um, that setting is correct so if I click on it right here uh, wait for Final Cut to render click on the project go to modify right here Apple Pro Res 444 so you want to use that codec right here to almost you know guarantee you're gonna get um, a transparent um, background um, right there so what you want to do right here is go over here to this export section right here go over here to add destination right here click on add, add destination and if these are in your destination right here just take it right here and then you, you just drag it into your um, destination right there so just drag it in if you don't see those kind of your uh, presets um, already listed um, right there but if you've already done that you've already you know, exported stuff before you don't have to you know add a destination you're only going to do that if these pre if, if these things don't show up you have to actually go ahead and add the destination so what i'm going to do right here is i'm going to go ahead and just make um you know make sure it actually does work so if i go over here to save current frame right here so I click save current frame and now what you want to do is you want to go to settings right here export png image so as you can see right here here it is png image right here Next, and we'll just call this, oh, if I to render right here, and then we'll call this um, AB right here. Click OK, and let's, of course, you know, make sure um, this works. So I'll just kind of uh, export the image. So let's go ahead and just um, exit it right here. So as you can see right here, AB.PNG right here. So let's go ahead and import this um, right here and make sure it works. And if it doesn't work, it's probably because you didn't use Apple Pro's 444. So let's see, then you'll know, guarantee this works. I'm just you know, giving you advice. I wanna actually show you this works. So let's see, and there you go. As you can see, the image is, the image is completely transparent. As you can see right here, the image is completely transparent and now I can use that cutout again obviously you know I do a much better job um, on the mask right there but as you can see there we go the cutout works um, right there so let's head over here to text right here same thing and we, we, we want to use Apple ProRes 444 settings 
.png right here. You want to make sure it's a uh, .png. That's where you know you, you always look up images like you know like whatever like Chiefs logo .png. Like the the .png has a usually has a transparent background. Not always, and if it doesn't, it means the person who you know made it obviously didn't do the right things. Um, you know, and may uh, for to have a transparent background. It, it, there, there are other there are other things you need to do, especially at least in Final Cut, to make sure it actually has a transparent background. So let's go to text right here. Let's see if it worked. And as you can see, there we go. The background is completely transparent. So remember, you always want to use Apple ProRes 444. So let's go over right here. So what I'm going to do is basically go over how to um, export a video. So as you can see right here, I'll, I'll keep all the images in here too. Again, just to show you, um, you know, give you a good example. So what you want to do is go over here to share, go over to master file right here, go over to settings, and then video codec Apple ProRes 444. You want to use this codec right here um, to have that you know transparent um, background. As obviously you can see the file is giant, so you wouldn't want to upload this file um, to you know like social media. So don't uplo don't upload this file to social media. Um, it's way too big and of course you can go over here to format and you can choose video and audio video only audio only It depends on what you want to uh, do. We'll just leave it on video only right here So Apple Pro is 444 and then video only right here. Let's go ahead and export it um, Right here. So as, as you can see right here, we'll wait for Final Cut to export it right here Basically, I have an image. I have a text. I have a text animation and then as you can see right here So let's go ahead and play it right here so this is what it looks like right here. Here's the text, and then as you see here, you have an animated text um, right here, and as you see, you have a subscribe animation right here. Now I obviously already keyed this out right there, so all this has is a black background. So let's head over here to export right here, and then PNG background dot movie. Uh, let's go ahead and import um, the video right here. So PNG. Uh, background right here. So let's go over and select a custom generator um, right here. Um, control D uh, 30 seconds um, right here. And let's change the background to um, a green color. Actually, maybe we'll change it to more like a um, blue right there. Kind of, that, like, kind of that neon blue or something. Now let's go over here to PNG background. Let's apply it. And then let's see. There we go. As you can see, the background is completely transparent. Um, for the video right here, wait for Final Cut to render, and as you can see, there we go. So if I go ahead and play right here, and there might be a little bit of edges right here uh, because it was keyed out in a green screen. So let's go ahead and play it right here. As you can see, voila, the background is completely transparent. So you know, freeze frames, text, um, animations. So as you can see right there, there we go. I'll go ahead and go back to the beginning right here. So you can see the video background is completely transparent. So you can do this with photos, videos, or whatever you want. It's a really, you know, really neat um, and useful tool. So you can see with the animation, and that all has a transparent background, which is a really cool um, and, and useful uh, feature. But having this kind of this transparent background is great if you want to reuse a photo or reuse an animation or a video again in another project. So instead of having to go through and recut out, recut out Antonio Brown, I can go ahead and just select like this dot uh, png um, image so I can use it again it basically just saves you a lot of time so maybe when you're working on a project think to yourself am I gonna probably use this again am I gonna use this cutout again if the answer is probably yes then I would probably you know, obviously you'll export the file like normal but I'd probably be maybe like have a folder like, like uh, every project of a folder called like a dot png images and say things that you think you know maybe in the future I may want to use it again and again instead of spending like, 20 minutes remasking Antonio Brown out or whatever uh, subject just go ahead and say use a dot png um, image as you can see right here, you want to make sure the uh, codec is Apple Pro is 444 for the project and then Apple Pro is 444 for the export. I don't think it always has to be this for every project, but to be you know hundred percent safe, I would just use uh, Apple Pro as four 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 completely across the board, just in case something um, goes wrong. And then of course, you know when you're exporting an image right here, um, right here, you want to make sure it's a .png. So basically, the two things you need to keep in mind is .png images and then Apple Pro as codec um, four four four. Those are basically two things you have to do, or else it's not going to work. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 270 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.